morning, everyone. Sorry I'm late. Uh, oh, excuse me, Mr. Kermit. Yes? Allow me. Okay. Is that safe? Of course. I'm wearing protective gloves. Oh. <clears throat> uh, okay. Uh, well, uh, uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, moving on. Uh, Bobo. Yes, sir. Listen, next time we do a sketch where Piggy flies across the stage, mm -hmm. I think we should choose a wire that actually supports her weight. Huh. Should have worked. It was a cable from a wrecking ball. Mm -hmm. Crotchety. Just tickle, eh? Well, that, that just means... Okay, huh. got it. Oh, oh, and one more thing, everybody. Uh, the crew that's shooting our behind-the-scenes documentary has asked us to be more available for those... Hmm. That is true. You know what, loser? Okay, and then after the monologue, we go to the desk for what's in Piggy's purse. Mm -hmm. And listen, everybody. Well, we're not. Oh. <gasps> See, and she's strong. Yeah. I once saw her lift up a piano to get to a half-eaten moon pie. Yeah, well, I'm not worried, because Piggy's not going to find out she's here until she walks out on this stage, and there's nothing she can do about it. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, hey, uh... Uh, well, what are you doing here so early? Uh, uh, well, that's, uh, that, that, that's a good show just because... What, no, huh? No, huh? Okay. Just because you... <laughs> we've created a color... Moods. Uh, green, she's calm. Uh, but we've never been at green. Uh, yellow, she's in tears. Orange, I'm in tears. Uh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Uh, I tried to offer her a ballpoint. Uh, uh. You've got to find that pig a date. Mm-hmm. You got a whole news building? Gentle newsman confronted by large bear. Will he allow himself to be intimidated? The answer coming up now. Good morning, everybody. So sorry I'm a little late, but for Cindy Groovy. Oh, chef, you have a naughty mind. Beaker, <gasps> did you get a haircut? Well, don't. It's the perfect length. You look cute as a button. Oh. Oh. Mm. I mean, since mm. they've been going out, I've been waking up to... You actually came back. Yes, I did. And for more on this breaking story, let's go to me outside. No. To buy cookies from me, not him. I'm new. I don't understand the politics around here. Morning meeting, everybody. Morning meeting. Huh? Mm. Listen, I know that uh, last night's show was pretty awful. Yeah. yeah. But that one's... The rest of the day with Piggy being all chill, that was gas station mm -hmm. sushi. And we love us some gas station sushi. Oh, Piggy. Really? Less... Mm -hmm. I can't let this happen, guys. I gotta get her back. <sighs> hey, there's like 20 of us. Why didn't we stop him? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Perhaps our happiness has made us too soft. Yeah. Interesting. And speaking from personal experience, you never quite get it back. Well, well you know I'm gonna pass. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I shall inquire. Excuse me, Mr. Bobo. Yes, sir. Will the crew still be gathering for drinks after the show? I called Rolf and he's holding our table. Excellent. Because this evening my PhD stands for pretty hard drinking. No. Oh. Not really. It refers to my advanced academic degree. Oh. <laughs> oh, hey, everybody, everybody, Beaker does the best piggy. Watch this. Oh, Miss Piggy, can I get you anything? Me, 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 moi. Me, 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 me. It's like she's in the room. Hey, right, guys? I mean, total drag. <laughs> like, just this morning, I'm lying by the pool bragging about his kids. Don't you hate it when that happens? What, landscape designers? What? You don't have to imagine how annoying it is to be held captive by some blowhard yapping about their personal life. Anyway, then I got to work. Finally, the limo was stuck in traffic. Hey, somebody peel and eat me, okay? Mm -hmm. Anyway, and that is why I always take a helicopter to Catalina. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, we work together. I'm Floyd. I'm with the band. Hey, it's good to see you again. I got flowers. In the spring, I got you to wear my ring. Take it, Peter. My hero.
was happy to see you made it home safe last night. How do uh, you know that? Uh, well, you're here now. You, you don't have to follow somebody home to put that together. <clears throat> <laughs> Welcome to the morning meeting, everybody. Or should I say, uh, listen, guys. Bunsen and Beaker, why are you wearing each other's clothes? If it happens outside of work, we don't owe him an explanation. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's right, your queen has arrived. Okay. Which one of you said that? <laughs> Here's the deal. We're gonna. Oh, that reminds me. Tonight, after the show, we are going out again because what? I lined up a party with Usher. Oh, Can I have everybody's attention, please? Mm -hmm. huh? Friends, for your own. But what about going to Usher's? I bought a leather suit. Oh, don't worry. Oh, fiddle. Got drinks for Bobo and John Q. Public. But this is where Reese Witherspoon has to park. And I said, well, that's really. We're gonna get you. Ah, mocha frap, extra whip, drizzled with one leisurely pump of caramel. Holding a grudge over losing the lead in Walk the Line to Reese, went on to win the Oscar. Yep. That was just a decoy grudge. It's always been Witherspoon. Oh. Always. Okay. Slow your pump, young man. Slow. So when Fozzie gets out of the shower, he goes outside, shakes off like a dog, and makes it sound like a ghost having a st You know, I was just thinking, since your friends know all about my personal quirks, I thought it would be hilarious if I told them about some of yours. Oh. I see your true colors shining through. True colors, and that's why I love you. Be afraid. What happened? You fainted. Now just relax while I take your temperature with this laser thermometer. Ah! Oops! Oh, oh. Uh, wrong laser. Uh, Here, I can for a second. All right, listen. Uh, Are you sure? You look a little green. Oh. You look great then. We'll run the show. Nice. Come on up here, Scooter. Oh, oh thank oh. you. Oh, yeah, wow. let him through. Yeah. Let him through. You know, about that. you know when you're choosing somebody to handle a high pressure. Starting with great Grammy Zuska. Okay, well anyway, uh, listen, feel free. To I love being passed around any rando you put in charge. I do. It's my fave. Yeah. Okay. I got this, boss. Started out a little rough. <laughs> It's okay, everything's fine. It's just the unit kicking on. <laughs> Man, you'd think with the AC broken, Beaker's face would have thawed out by now. There is no colder face than Freon face. Mm. And I know what I'm talking about. My experiments in cryogenics cost me my chair at Berkeley. Hmm. And finally, the mouth. Science. Why me? Oh. oh, you know, according to my research, there is no hotter face than coffee face. Whoa. Holy moly, what was that? Are uh, the only person I've ever met. Oh, 31. Hmm? I've been trying to get my slogan. Very much deadly. I, I was actually kind of talking to Becky here. It's 31. All right, off to lunch. You know, that, that kind of reminds me. Uh, I'm, and, and I don't know much about the prices, so... Uh, wow, Chip, that sounds like a pretty good deal to me, considering it was how many acres only, Becky? I said Becky, not Beaker. Well, he was correct. What do we win? Kermit, if you want to know the answers, why don't you just look them up on your phone? Wait, Becky? What? Oh, come oh. on. Wait, you thought I was cheating? Kermit, the only reason I was on my phone is that I was on eBay and I was bidding on a gift for Fozzie. Uh, really? Aww, it's a fanny pack. Oh, and it's no. suede so it won't irritate your belly plugs. Call my girlfriend a cheater. To play poker with, okay? Well, he's pretty easy to read, too. See, see, when he has a good hand, he mumbers things like, um... Jeepers, this is golly swell. Yeah, oh no, this can't be good. Don't blow this, Scooter. <laughs> oh, look, I got all clovers. <laughs> 
Oh, good, you came. I didn't think you got my text. I'm sorry I'm late. I just walked upstairs for the first time in years. Whew. How goes it? We've been doing tests of your jump, and the results of the findings are fascinating. Here, let me show you with this replica made of fruit. I agree. We should have made you out of Twinkies and Ding Dongs, considering how difficult it was for you to squeeze into your suit. Anyway, our research has shown that unless the cannon shoots you out at precisely 83.7 miles per hour, the following will occur. Whoa. Huh. So what are you saying? Unless everything goes perfectly, I'll be a fruit smoothie? Of mm. course not. You'll be a flesh and blood smoothie. Mm. Ah, resto, science. Mm. <sighs> hey guys. Looky, mm? I was trying to clear Beaker's sinuses when lo and behold, I stumbled upon a Rudolph for a reindeer sketch. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> 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 But, uh, Bunsen, we don't have a reindeer sketch in the show. Oh. Hmm. Well, then it will just be for our holiday enjoyment. Right, Biggie? Getting to look a lot like Christmas. Hello there, Yolanda. Oh, hello. Guess who's your secret Santa? You, Dr. Honeydew? Mm, what a surprise. Lundy. Yodi Yolanda. I have Yolanda. I got her slippers with the headlights so she can have her midnight snack in safety. I did. Me too. So did I. What? Obviously, she rigged it to get all the gifts. <laughs> Clever girl. <gasps> Whoopee! It wasn't me this year. <laughs> there she is, everybody. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love you guys. And there's gift receipts. It's the hair, happiest season of all. With those pilot three three things that friends want to call. It's the hat, happiest season of all. There'll be parties for hosting, marshmallows for toasting, or is a Christmas is long, long ago. Okay. Uh, it's the most The only hard part of the holidays is, uh... Mm. Mm. Hey, remember, everybody, there are no bad ideas. Uh, other than the ones we've been pitching here for the last three hours. <laughs> the way around Pache, well, we just need to make a few tweaks to our show that make us happy. <laughs> we were using the shower in your green room. You forget how good hot water feels. <laughs> Everybody, let's get to work. You want us, want us in there? Yeah, want us in there? Because we'd be more than happy to contribute. Oh. Denise, can I offer you some advice? I just got back from a life affirming trip. <laughs> some song you sang with Pig. Not really talking about the song, about the way you looked at her when you sang it. Did you guys see this? Oh. Yeah. It looks like they printed a computer on some weird paper. No, no, Piggy's tail is front page news. Oh, wait, let's see. Oh, I don't see what the big deal is. I was born with a tail. The doctors removed it, but I keep it close so when I'm reincarnated, I'll be whole. See? Put that away! <laughs> now, Miss Piggy just had a simple wardrobe malfunction, okay? So get rid of the newspaper, all right? You got it! Hey, it! Oh, oh, don't be oh, oh, where else am I going to find a job where I can take an hour-long nap every day and they don't mind? Yeah, and you don't mind. Well, mm -hmm. so we don't want to fire people. Mm -hmm. Got it. Mm -hmm. Since we can't do the one thing and we can't do the other thing, who is think of a third thing that makes everyone happy. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. And I go and do what you want to do. Get up. <laughs>
brush my teeth. Well, it's going to be a little bit of a different trip for Robin since Piggy and I are broken up. Uh, and we can finally go out for barbecue with a clear conscience. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Together, just until I have the right time to... <laughs> Here at Up Late, the Swedish chef and Dr. Bunsen Honeydew have been experimenting with something new called molecular gastronomy. Mm. Now, molecular gastronomy investigates the physical and chemical transformations that occur in cooking. Mm. Exactly. And making meatball ice cream by using liquid nitrogen to flash freeze the meatball. I'm speeding up the process by adding three times the usual amount of volatile chemicals. Okay, that's weird. All right, Piggy. Here we go. Open wide. <laughs> so great to see you all. This is no place for romance. That's why I am a lifelong member of Team French. Friendship, but I like love, love. Mm. So like, I'm on Team Love. Huh? Yeah. Me too. Mm. The, yeah. Boo, ah. Team Friendship. Oh, the, but it's not about voting, Mr. Kermit. It's about science. Hmm? Just as the flapping of a butterfly's wing <laughs> affects the trajectory of a hurricane, your rekindled love promises to leave a wide path of destruction. Voila! <gasps> Science! Bruno! <gasps> Ignore all of them. I think you are being very brave. I don't know. I do. <sighs> if it was... Excuse me, Mr. Kermit. May I? Sure. Is that safe? Of course. I'm wearing protective gloves. Oh. Well, okay. Uh, <clears throat> well, uh, listen. Welcome, everybody. Uh, so I brought you all together today because I have some really great news. Put on an all-new primetime series starring the Muppets. Oh, yeah. The show's gonna be all about our personal lives, you know? Ooh. Behind the scenes, at home, our relationships. Uh, uh -oh. Sort of an adult Muppet show. <laughs> Thanks, that's very generous. Yeah. Uh, how about we... Oh, no, that's terrific, Floyd. Uh, everybody like that idea? Yeah, I love the Uh, absolutely. Uh, and you are... Uh... Uh, excuse me. That's a good suggestion. Do you know anybody? Know. You would? Oh, that was everybody. That's it. Uh, get some sleep because Ooh. filming starts tomorrow. Ooh, the pig is back and ready to put on a... Oh! 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 Piggy? Are, are you okay? Oh. <laughs>